Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So after winterizing the engine, uh, it's time to fix other stuff inside Alos. First of all, uh, we proceed to sanitize all the head, the hose and the shower drain. When I came back to Springs, I want that my head smell good and I try to avoid any bad odor inside. So I use this germicidal uh, liquid that make all clean and perfect uh, disinfection of every part of the head and hose. So with Andrea, we drop some liquid inside the head and we flush out to permit that the liquid uh, run through all hose and sanification everything. You need to pump out all this liquid so it stay a little on the bottom of the head and preserve the bad smell odor. One of the worst things is have a very bad smelling things inside your toilet. Now we open so all the liquid go out and the job is done. Perfect. We move on. So guys, it's time to clean the propeller. I use some spray that take off all the calcareous of the propeller and clean very well. You can use this ferroton gel by Euromechi. It works great and make a very nice work on your propeller. Take off any single track of uh, calcareous and dirty. You can spray, you leave there for work uh, for 20 minutes and after that you rinse and work very well. I use a different type, I don't know the brand, but after that I use in another time the Ferrotone one and it's very great products. I think uh, you can buy everywhere and it's easy to find. In any case the result is similar uh, to this one that you can see in the video and work perfect. Another thing I normally do, I close with this type of uh, foam all the uh, outlet of the seacock. I use this one because I won't avoid any insect or any other stuff go inside the pipe. So we use this one, we put inside and we fix everything to avoid all this. Andrea is a master to do this one, uh, it's a trick that normally Andrea doing any type of bot when uh, need to be winterized. We check everywhere and any single seacock that need to be closed. This is the seacock of the head. Fortunately, there are not too much outlets on my boat, but there are, <laughs> so I prefer to make this trick. Last and not least, I will take out my tiller. I don't want to leave outside on the elements so I take out, I protect the connection and I bring inside the board. And here we are. I need to fix my sender of the water tank because it doesn't work. So we install it as was in the instruction but there was a problem. I have no indication of the water level because there was not a power connection and there is no signal from the sensor. Uh, so me and Andrea decided to open the water tank, first of all to take out the sender and check why it doesn't work. And also I won't see my water tank after three months, what's happened? So now 
the cover is uh, out we pay attention to take out the lid because we don't want to ruin the sander it costs a fortune and on the background you can see the water a very small quantity of water but least and not last you can see a lot of debris inside why those are the residues and the dust from the previous refit when i was a power plant i didn't clean with water my water tank but i clean with a sponge so at the end probably when i sailing all the water go everywhere and clean everything all the place that normally is difficult to reach so this is the result but no problem now i'm very happy because andrea take out all the water clean everything and for sure i will have a very brand new clean water tank for the next season another thing to do i will check why the sender of video doesn't work i will tell you in the next episodes and the last tip is to clean and put some uh, sanification liquid inside the shower drain and leave it for all the season so guys if you enjoyed the video please leave a thumb up i wait for your uh, comments and we see in the next episode thank you for following me i love you see you soon ciao